All right, what's up, everyone? We are here for part six of this Not So Berry speed run. This episode will be focused around our evil little bean here, Dahlia Berry. But I've been waiting a long time for her generation and all her sisters joining her in here. But let's go ahead and read the description for Orange Jen. You are the black sheep of your family, but with orange hair. And you were raised in a hectic household. You've always wanted to cause mayhem, but you're just really bad at being evil. You enjoy breaking into your neighbor's houses and eating their food. You really love baking and spend the majority of your spare time eating sweets. So the traits for this generation are evil, self-assured, and glutton. We have to be the public enemy aspiration when we become a teenager. The career will be criminal. And then the rules say that we have to master the baking and charisma skills. We have to master the criminal career and complete the public enemy aspiration. We have to live in a needs TLC apartment for our entire young adult life. We will eventually have to have twins, but only those two children. So we're going to have to use cheats for that just to make sure. And through our entire life, we have to insist on being evil, claiming to be a criminal mastermind, which technically we will be. But the kicker is that nobody believes us, not even our kids. So the fact that we will literally have the evil trait, but no one believes us is just, uh, it's just, it's, it's giving peak anime villain that everybody loves. So you will notice that our last heir, Daphne, has a bit of a makeover. I actually gave her and the previous generations some CC makeovers since I'm now on my new gaming computer. I did ultimately find a new hair for her that I liked a lot more. So yeah, we're just gonna start seeing a lot more custom content here on out. But one thing I did before setting up for this episode is I made us a club. We have the Berry Brigade. So this is going to be a club that includes all of our like family members outside of our household. But really the goal with this is that it's, it's going to help us with our skills. Yeah, once we uh, have our first little club gathering, you'll be able to actually see what I'm talking about with that. I'm giving our new house some lot traits, convivial, child's play, and good schools. We're continuing to make some friends, gaining some empathy. Nice. See, no one can tell me that she's actually evil. Oh, that's right. Bailey is feeling a little sad. You know what? Let's have the two of them form a little group. Now let's work on this BFF. Like, look how cute they are. Adorable. There you go. Become best friends forever. Let's go ahead and start this little gathering. So our club activities are to be friendly, be funny, listen to music, dance, of course, and play video games. Quality family time. Love it. Heck yeah, leveled up in social. So now we want to become friends with three other children, become friends with two adults, and achieve level 10 social. Cool. <laughs> Let's ask Caleb if he's a mermaid. Oh my gosh. Mermaid, what gave you that idea? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to cook together with our daughters. That will uh, inspire our, our love of baking. And they got a sentiment together. Nice. And we're at 400 points. So this is where it gets good because you can get skill bonuses in clubs. And that is ultimately my goal here. We are a child right now, but I think the first one I'm going to do is charisma. But yeah, that's the goal with this club is to just get all of these skill boosts so that when we do have the club gatherings, we could just have super optimal skill gain. Oh my gosh, look at our grandma. Beautiful. She really does look so, so good. But all right, successful first club gathering. And now we'll we'll get to bed, but we should uh, do it again sometime. Oh, and we are eating for two. Okay, Um, in this economy. Well, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out uh, when we have to figure that out. But okay, so we became friends with two adults yesterday. Now we need three children. You know what? It's a perfect opportunity for another club with a different purpose. We'll start our, our gathering of uh, the future villain society. Ooh, Festival of Youth has started. You know what? That That's perfect. Let's introduce ourselves to, to this kid here. And let's go to the festival. Super cute, even though something's conflicting with our hair. Look at this. Children. Perfect time to make new friends and enemies. And then Dahlia, we're, we're going to go on a void critter hunt. Because she seems like a void critter kind of gal. Oh my god. There it is. Ah! How oh, weird. We're feeling a little hungry. We like sweets, so we're gonna go for something sweet. Oh man, we didn't get all of our little void critters, but we can at least make friends with someone. But man, what a bust. Now this is the start of our villain origin story. Gonna use our parents' super expensive bathtub and then express some melancholy thoughts in our journal. Dolly, I invite over classmate Chaz. Sure. And oh, let's go ahead and comfort. See, I just don't see her being like actually truly evil. Maybe it's something where it's a, uh, you know, kind of anti-hero Robin Hood-esque in the sense of punishing people and she's seen as evil, but she's not actually evil. 
Let's go ahead and add our new little friend to our club. Press the boss. We want to press the boss for a promotion. How should she go about it? Eh, let's do a side project. ADHD for the win. Like, look at us. So, so villainous. We're making those dolls pay. Okay, so we are now officially friends. So now we just have to work on our social skill a little bit more. And oh, I just realized, okay, we have some reward points. Ooh, let's go for Night Owl. And I think that's all we're going to get for now. And why don't we bake some brownies or something together? But you know what? Successful club day. Time to go to bed. Or actually, hey mom, I know you're really uh, hungry and tired and also heavily pregnant, but um, it's your turn now to purchase all these moodlet solvers. It's for the betterment of the generations. Heck yeah, now you can work on your project. They'll encourage us for uh, finishing our project. Job well done. She's going to teach us about responsibility. Good job. So responsible. But look at us. So evil. Drawing on our, our sister craft table while she sleeps and we're we're playing with her toys and gaining empathy so so evil all right starting another club gathering get some extra points while our daughter's at school all right club points let's upgrade to add more heck yeah one more family member all right grades are in we are b students and an a student heck yeah let's see let's add iris let's see about maxing out our social skill we're almost there heck yeah skill max all right so the next thing I want to get is this always welcome because we're almost teenagers and this will allow us to break into people's houses and bake them white cakes just like our, our favorite townies. Okay, creativity is next. So let's try switching to artistic prodigy. Oh my gosh. Our mom adopted a baby. Well, let's go say hi. You know what? Let's age it up because the baby stage is no fun and we're not getting infants anytime now. Creativity level five. Perfect. Awesome. And we got one drawing taken care of. Everyone's all introduced. So now we can go home, but we're still pretty inspired. So we're going to continue being evil and use our sister's craft supplies. So evil. And then we're going to get a nice children's book, How I Dumped Your Father. It's like an autobiography. And we'll go ahead and uh, read it to Bailey because that seems helpful. But she wants to be read too, so so I'm I'm honestly just gonna roll with it. It's fine. Heck yeah, milestone complete. So now we have to play with three toys. Easy. We have zero days till age up, so we're gonna take another one of our moodlet solvers so that we can take care of this last little aspiration. Double fist in. Perfect. Amazing. Ah, Daphne's in labor. Daphne! We're gonna first have Dahlia finish up with playing with her last toy. All right, milestone complete. And now let's have this baby at the hospital. See some of your old co-workers. Make sure they're actually doing their jobs. Look at her going straight in once again. We know where to go. It's a boy! And we have Rory Iona Berry. Ah, there he is. And there is our little vampire symbol. That's how we know we're, we're truly related. Okay, so what do we got to do next? We got to play an instrument. Then we got to draw five pictures and get to level 10 creativity. Okay. Ooh, Bailey wasn't ready for another sibling just yet. We at least have her and Dahlia who are super close. And then honestly, we're an A student. We're going to take a vacation day from school and we're going to keep working on our drawings. So we can only draw four out of the five pictures so far. So now we're going to work on an instrument. And we happen to have a keyboard right over here. But you know what? I kind of, I kind of, like the idea of this little trailer being Dahlia's little escape because now with the new baby there's not a whole lot of room and one of the girls is gonna have to give up their room so I think that Dahlia is gonna take advantage of that and then she can make as much noise with her weird barking keyboard as she wants. Yeehaw level eight and we're at four hours in and now that Bailey's home let's go ahead and plan this little birthday party for the girls. That's our fifth drawing. Now we just have to get to level 10. We have the party going on, but we'll also have our little club gathering start so we can make some points here. All right, Dahlia reached level nine. Can we make it to 10? I feel like it's going to be really, really close. We're hungry and tired and we have about an hour left in our birthday party. Bailey, let's go ahead and have you blow them out first because you were technically born first. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, the random traits generator from James Turner's website. So we're currently a perfectionist, so we'll just hit generate and and see what else we get. Okay, so fabulously wealthy, snob, and foodie. So okay, we will go fabulously wealthy, and then we'll go foodie. Maybe she'll be like a chef or something. And then how are we doing, Dahlia? Okay, you are so, so close. Birthday party complete. Okay, missed your own birthday party. New villain origin story. Okay, girl, you can finish drawing that later. Let's try to get you some presents. 
you already completed the holiday, but you still deserve presents. Alfredo got a future cube. Good for him. We're hysterical. Bad for us. Try to calm down. Taking care of your little baby sibling, though. That's nice. Daphne got an improbable ottoman. Okay, and what did we get? We got Axis Man saves the city. Nice. And I know you're exhausted, but you're like 96% complete. So let's just push this last little bit and you will have double aspirations. It'll be beautiful. Heck yes, aspiration achieved. That means we have socially gifted from our social butterfly aspiration. And now we have creatively gifted. Happy birthday. Now we get into our adult aspiration, which is going to be deviance and public enemy. So now we have the choice of glutton and evil. I'm going to go for glutton partially because I'm holding out on evil for as long as possible, but also because it says we have to be breaking into people's houses and eating their food. And I think that fits glutton a lot more. I gotta say, I'm so happy with how all of her different outfits came out. Like I found these cute little bat like pigtail things. In terms of trying to convince people you're evil, I just think these are super cute and fitting. I just really wanted to go like bratty mean girl look. I saw the leopard print and it was a huge must. And then here we have Bailey, but I tried to keep it just like nice and clean and crisp because she has that perfectionist trait. Oh my gosh, I hate that so much. I dislike that. Ugh, Sims, why, why you gotta be this way? But here we are in our new room. And since we just aged up today, we do not have school today. So this is going to be a really big uh, skill push day. But there we go, we acquired faking. And now for our aspiration, we have to perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions and be disliked by two Sims. All right, so here's where it starts. We're gonna start lying about our career to everyone. We're gonna tell everyone we're a criminal mastermind. Anyone who believes us are real ones. And anyone who criticizes us gets to be our enemy. Who just pranked the toilet? I wanted to prank the toilet. You know what, Cade? I think we were we were pretty good friends, but now you get to be my enemy because you stole my hit. Oh, Cade shows signs of the sinister personality archetype. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Apparently my dog also thought that was interesting. Perfect, he's angry. Now we gotta fight him. He's like, I can be the only evil sinister one around here. After we, we finish our arguing, we're kicking him out of our future villain society. See, this is what you get. Haha, <laughs> we won. Perfect, so now we have an enemy. Dahlia feels a little bad for the, for the toilet, maybe for making a scene in this place because she actually seems to like the thrift shop owner. And we got the handiness skill, nice, nice. And it's healing our reputation. And now we, we get to gather and cook with our mom. And by gather, I mean we we're prepping on either side of the lot. We got a sentiment nonetheless. There's no way we're, we're wasting our evening fixing our skills. We're gonna have a moodlet solver. I know you're enjoying your bubble bath, but I was gonna say take care of your, your son, but it looks like Bailey has him. Oh, that's so cute. Parenting is her, her top skill. All right, we, we will embrace it. Perfect, mischief level three. Do a little late night baking. Baking level up. Maybe you can have yourself a little treat. Oh, and Rory aged up. Okay, we are. Ooh, fussy. Okay, getting ready for school. Gotta brush our teeth, put on our makeup, facial cleanser. We're gonna pull some pranks. We're gonna make some enemies. And maybe try to get a decent public education. We'll see. So here we go, blah, 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 school info. Now we get to claim a locker and just cause some mayhem, honestly. Oh my gosh, poor Bailey. She is seated next to someone who she, she is not attracted to in the least. Bailey's just trying to eat her little breakfast and these boys are feeling rejected for some reason. And in the middle of the exam, we're off to check our timeline. Girl, no, please take your exam. I know it's your first day, but we could at least pretend. Oh my gosh. Bailey feels hurt by this dude. Oh my gosh, he's an adult? Sir, I will end your entire career. Why were you arguing with my sister and making her feel bad? But this is the thing about Dahlia. She is just one of those really just like cuts you to your deepest insecurities type of person, but only for the people who have personally wronged her. And that extends to, to Bailey, because Bailey is both her sister as well as her best friend. She's she's literally gonna fight the entire patriarchy for her sister's honor. But you know, we're not gonna be actually evil about it. We'll, we'll console him about the death, but dude, you are still trash how dare you make my sister feel bad oh man we're we're so bad oh no bailey's doing poorly in school she did really bad at her exams dolly did pretty good though but bailey you you go on and head home we're gonna stay here and continue making enemies from across the cafeteria we're honestly having having a great time right now milestone complete we are disliked by two people now we have to get four people successful day of, of being disliked we're we're gonna have to head home after this we're so angry we're gonna take an angry poop we're gonna jog to clear our minds and then i think maybe maybe we'll invite the family over and we're gonna replace dancing with baking honestly we gotta get our emotions under control because those boys ain't worth it but, ooh, Fred got a promotion. Awesome. Oh, that that outfit ain't ain't it. I'm sorry. Gonna upgrade our capacity. 
And then the next thing we're gonna go for is a baking boost. But yes, so with my mod, I can now add 23 people to a club. So I think in the next family event, we're just gonna have to make a lot of introductions and try to try to get more family members over. I think Dahlia likes fixing things just as much as she likes breaking things. Oh, we're feeling a little dazed. But uh, I think we technically, we technically fixed it. Yes, it good, kid. I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Oh my gosh, she feels like she's doing all the work for her little baby brother and Fred's just gonna be like, you'll you'll always be my baby. And everyone's asleep. It's a little past breakfast time, but we're still going to do a grand breakfast. And everyone will have you go around, make your New Year's resolution. She's honestly just trying her best. Ooh, we're gonna sabotage the decorations too. That's hilarious. She's definitely more of a baker than a cook. About the, the science and the chemistry, not the essence of flavor. I don't, I don't know. She, she's trying. We're, uh, we're, we're sabotaging the decorations. This will definitely end well. And we honestly, we're, we're gonna have a bake sale. Can't put the white cakes in for some reason, but that's, that's fine. We're gonna mark up prices 300% because we, we know we're worth it. So I don't know, anyone who's willing to buy soggy brownies, that's, it's questionable. It's questionable. Come on, no one wants my half-eaten bread. What about you? Or how about you? Come on, anyone? All right, fine. I'll, I'll eat it then. People just don't know good quality bread when they see it. All right, Daffy, let's invite some family over. Looks like Mindy's still around kicking. Wait, <gasps> Kelsey married Indigo. It's actually pretty great because I looked back on previous footage and Kelsey's the one that Indigo was kind of flirting with on Social Buddy when they were teens. So I guess MC Command Center decided it was gonna let us have that one. But heck yes, we like baking. Heck yeah, level up. All right, added some more family. Let's get everyone in here now. I don't know why everyone keeps having this like reaction to Grayson like he's doing something. It's time to watch Countdown to Midnight. I really don't know what Grayson is doing over here, but he's distracted everyone from the Countdown to Midnight. You know what, Grayson, if you're going to try to be the center of attention in all this, maybe you, you don't get to be in our little berry club, okay? Yeah, Grayson, I don't I don't know what you did, but you somehow, somehow ruined New Year's. So thanks, yeah. my guy. But okay, New Year's was was okay for, for some, others not so much. Ah, uh, neighborhood stories update. They're having a baby. Nice. They're gonna have little cousins. It's adorable. But now we have to fix all these sinks because what the heck is happening around here? See, this, this is our villain origin story. Having to clean and repair all the sinks and broken game stations and consequences of our own action. Having to clean the decoration box. Dang it, if we're not one super handy and resilient babe. Well, since we couldn't bake with the family here, it's time to, uh just grind out the skill and maybe feed our little brother who is sleeping out in a tent. Oh my gosh, who's watching this kid? Not me, apparently. We're, we're not going to be able to make any additional progress in our aspiration until later in the week, but we can be disliked by two more sims. So that's going to be our focus for the day. What an amazing goal to set for yourself, you know? This is how we're going to do it. We're not going to be like outwardly mean. We're just going to be mischievous and just make him him question everything. Because again, what is a like a senior in high school doing bullying uh, like a freshman on her first day. See, that, that is evil. We're just gonna make him regret it. See, these, these are just the, the consequences of his own actions. See, this, this is where, this is where things change. They thought we were cool, but we're not. Like, haha, isn't it nice when you think you have friends and then it turns out they're freaking jerks? You can't just play with people's emotions. Perfect. There it is. Disliked by, <laughs> by three out of four sims. Haha. <laughs> we're gonna ditch our family for family movie night because like, what even were the events of yesterday? All right, it took me a minute, but I found where one of our friends lives. We're just gonna go over to their house and we're gonna eat all their food. Granted, we're going to cook them food first. Oh, they live right next to, oh my gosh, all the gravestones. Oh, classic sims. But here we go. We're making a grand meal and no one's gonna yell at us for it. Oh gosh, and we're starting a fire. I swear that wasn't intentional. I was trying to do a good deed. See, maybe that's part of it. People just think that she's a fire starter pyromaniac. Ugh, that that is that is awkward. Um sorry to set a fire and bounce, but um on to house number two with two more gravestones. Nice, nice. And look, it's our friend Scarlet. She's here. You mind if I use your oven? Uh, we were trying to just hang out with our friend, but we're still so tense from the fire. But let's call everyone to the meal of bagels, and we're gonna try to jog and clear our mind. Oh my gosh, her freaking little shorts are mocking us right now. Well, we're smelly. Let's see what other friends we can visit. So no gravestone this time, but we do have some urns. Nice. Excuse me while I use your shower, and then I will sing to you the song of my people, which is baking. And look, our friend is joining us. And level four baking. You know what? See, we, we can salvage the day after all. 
We're still feeling a little tense. So let's see whose who's day are we going to ruin? You know what? Let's let's do this. We're going to head on back to Thrifty. We're going to see if we can just dogpile anyone with our club. Oh my gosh, how perfect. Manuel, I think you were a person who refused to buy my bread at my bake sale. You're about to regret that decision. Oh my gosh. This lady, I've been seeing her everywhere. I'm pretty sure she's one of Fred's like distant relatives. Here we go. You won't buy my bread? Well, you don't know who I am. I'm gonna make you regret it. Hey, this girl's cute. Let's be friends. Oh my gosh, everyone's discovering she's an alien. Bailey, what's happening? It's okay, girl. Just calm down. Oh my gosh, he's also a sinister personality type. I think we're catching on to a, to a trend here. Because, like, we're evil, sure. We're not, like, evil evil. Hey, this drama isn't my fault, at least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. Sir, you are supposed to be an adult, okay? Act like one. We're literally just bullying this this whole adult man. Oh my gosh, girl, your your pranks aren't coming out the way you want them to. Well, we're we're gonna mock his outfit, and then we're gonna make fun of him for getting in a fight with a teenager. All right, family movie night was pretty good. Well, I'm gonna clog this drain, and then we're gonna head home. Aha, we clogged it. All right, it was uh well, it was definitely a day. She's having a good giggle in her sleep. We're now officially disliked by four sims. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's Rory's birthday. Let's plan a little birthday party for him then. Cool. All done. Y'all are going to, to school on your own today. All right, Bailey, you're going to study hard. I know you, you've been trying real hard over the weekend. I just want her to do well. Dolly was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been paying attention to class. That, that does seem like her. But you know what? I see Fred as the softer parent. A warning should do. That's fine. Know your scholarships. I don't think I will. Yay, Bailey got her grades up. Good for her. She tried hard. All right, my little chicken man. Good luck at work. You know what, Daphne? You're gonna take a vacation day because it's your baby's birthday party. Heck yeah, resolution complete. We learned a new skill. And then honestly, baby Rory's not doing super awesome, but he's doing okay for the third child. Let's start the birthday party. Bailey's a B student. We're an A student. Wow. Outstanding work, Dahlia. I've noticed your impressive grades, which makes you eligible for graduation. Oh. Heck yeah. All right, so uh, now we can get some additional boosts for being an overachiever. We will still get our little diploma. We actually have three and a half thousand reward points. We're getting started with those connections. I like to think that our little fairy brigade is our list of connections. Ooh, humor and hijinks is in town. You don't gotta tell me twice. Let's help this little baby blow out his candles. Happy birthday, baby number three. We'll finally get a makeover. But oh my gosh, look at him. He has like his mom's pointy ears and kind of purpley hair. You know, he he made his aesthetic choice for me and I actually really love that for him. End that gathering and then head off. Humor and hijinks. Maybe, maybe we'll meet our friends there. Maybe we'll meet some new friends there. Oh, hey, mom got promoted. Dad did well and that vampire's here again. All right, well, toilet is the first order of business and then crank the toilet afterwards. We can't get that one because it's gendered. Haha, <laughs> nice. All right, well, we are going to join the jokesters because that is closer to, to orange color. All right, so Dahlia has joined the jokesters perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. All right, that was quick. Uh, So we win. I guess we got here a little late. That whole thing ended pretty quick, but we got food and we got to get a little closer with our new friend. I'll count this uh, short festival as a success. All right, we're back home pretty tired, but our little brother here got a cool little makeover. I don't really have a whole lot of purple hair for, for little boys, so he just got this cool little like mullet thing. I don't know. I think we can lean into that style. We're going to take another moodlet solver in order to take care of bed because we want to take advantage of our night owl trait. But, oh my gosh, it's almost our birthday. I'm honestly just going to try to see how far we can get with maxing out mischief and charisma, hopefully before we age up. We want to make something greater than poor quality. I'm going to start off by doing some repairs on the shower and then we're going to make a dragon sculpture because that sounds cool. Heck yeah, look at our cool little dragon sculpture. So now we want to become angry. That sounds healthy. Ooh, Bailey won a school prize. Should we give it to her in front of the class or quietly and privately? You know what? Give it to her in front of the class. She deserves it. She's been working hard. She received an excellent bunny award in her inventory. Good for her. Rory's PE class gets to run laps, lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity. He's mostly through the first lap when he notices gap under the bleachers. Just the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if he sat out a few laps? Oh, he's a cool kid. He's gonna, he's gonna hide out. Uh, performance loss. Oh, well. Okay, we could technically get the baking boost now, but I'm gonna go for mischief first. All right, I'm trying something a little bit different with the club activities. We're going to have sabotage objects and fix objects as club activities. So we've sabotaged all these objects, the toilet, the sink, the tub. Now we get to repair and clean. And look at those club perk points. Amazing. So here we go. Handiness boost. Heck yeah, level up. 
All right, Bailey's off to her last day of school. We're gonna wake up and repair all the stuff around the house. And then I honestly think for now, I'm gonna end up making a separate club that's specifically for family gatherings and family reunions. So Barry Brigade will live on, but for now, we're going with skills for days, and we're going to try to limit it to just people in our household, and maybe we'll add some, like, friends here and there. So that means our current activities are to be friendly. We're going to clean, sabotage objects, fix objects, and we're going to bathe and shower, because that's that's kind of important. Zelda shows the signs of the hero personality. That's cute. I didn't get the chance to see what we all have. That's so funny. Dahlia is sinister, but she's also the hero. So we do have a bit of an anti-hero kind of character going on here. I just love how well that fits for her. And hey, Bailey is an A student now. But look at her. We got a success story. You tried really hard. We're in some pretty desperate need of fun. And it looks like in our likes list, we do have baking. So we're going to do something that Orange Gen does enjoy, and that's breaking into people's houses and eating their food. So we're literally right across the street at our neighbor's house. But hey, this is where uh, Rain lives. I love that we just go over to our friend's house and then just start baking. Like, haha, this is what makes us evil. We steal your ingredients and make you food, whether you like it or not. Ooh, I've been getting first impressions on, on everyone I've met, but it looks like we have a crush on our friend's sister. Oh my gosh, girl, what? She got a crush on their other sister. Oh my gosh, I think there's just something about this family. Baking level five. Perfect. And ooh, uh, excellent quality tortilla wrapped veggie dog made by Ainsley. Totally gonna eat that. Now accept my love bagels. See, this is how you game the system. We have showering and we have sleeping as one of our little club events. And then now we can get baking as well. Heck yeah, look at those points. Oh my gosh, this feels illegal, but I love it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to grab is this networked club. So this will increase your performance gain at work while your sim is part of this club. All right, so we are feeling pretty good. We still want to become angry for some reason, and we want to make a new friend. So let's maybe invite invite Madeline over. We'll, we'll get to know her a little bit. So here we go. We have a birthday party starting here soon. Now let's start the birthday party. We're doing something a little bit different this time because we have all of our connections and we have all of our networking. So we're going to have just a crazy birthday party at this lounge. All right, everyone's headed on over. It's time to blow out the candles. All right, happy birthday, Bailey. All right, so let's see what additional trait we're going to give Bailey. Okay, you know what? Family oriented, that really works because she always was looking after her brother when he was just, just a fresh little bab. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really? Scarlet, everyone, the heck? Okay, I guess I'm making my own birthday cake. All right, and happy birthday to Dahlia our little future public enemy villain. All right, and here it is. The moment we become evil and things get a little, a little rough. All right, evil lesson. Evil sims become happy from the misery of others and have a variety of ways to accomplish this. Oh boy. Right? And we were asking our little crush here about her interests. She's still exploring. So you're, so you're saying there's a chance. But everyone's uh, pretty done, so so now it's time to gather up what we can. We're gonna start one last little skills for days gathering. And then honestly, something that I've been wanting to do for a little while. Daphne is giving Dahlia a gift and just saying, Hey hun, I know you're out on your own now. I want to give you this nice little postcard. Maybe it'll be something that you, you carry with you and you can pass on to your own child when the time comes. So as we're getting ready to move out, we gotta grab our skill books that we got. I'm just gathering whatever teeny tiny things I could actually grab for my inventory. So we definitely need stuff for, for our new apartment. But I think that's about it. Let's end this gathering and move into our new apartment. So I kind of wanted to go for like the smallest apartment possible just because like it makes it easier to just see everything that's going on. But now that we're here, we can officially join the criminal career. So here we go. Not every sim wants to play by the rules. You make tons of simoleons and have fun too as an outlaw. All right, so we have officially joined the career and we are starting at level four where we're just a basic criminal. That means we're also now at level two of the aspiration and we just have to have a declared enemy and get into five fights. Well, it's love day. So I feel like that's the perfect time for starting fights. All right, I just happened to do a quick little check and we have one of our enemies kind of in the area. So we've added him to a group and we're about to, to start some stuff, getting right to it. Oh no, we lost. <laughs> Well, let's declare him our, our enemy. And now we have to, to fight to get stronger so we could actually beat him. Come on, girl, don't, don't pick fights, you can't win. Let's ask our crush out on a date and uh, try to make ourselves feel a little, little bit better. All right, level five charisma. How romantic with the strange singing in the background and just eating 
surprise out of out of our inventory. It's very, very romantic. Ooh, throughout the conversation, Dolly, I got the impression that Madeline finds her unattractive. Oh no, that is uncomfortable. I really don't want unrequited love to be our actual villain origin story. Oh my gosh, Madeline's the sinister personality type. Those sims are up to no good. We would know we're one too. What the heck? Oh my gosh, werewolves. Well, looks like Rory is now one of my enemies, so that is great. Well, this date turned weird, so I'm, I'm gonna head home. I have to find some people to get into fights with. Wait, wait, what's this attractiveness alert? Malia Iona, is that this girl? It is. Okay, we think she's cute. It can't hurt. Let's let's try. Let's go for it. Oh, uh, we think she's a bit pretentious, but we do think she's cute. So ain't nothing wrong with being a little pretentious. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. They're literally negative friendship, but positive romance. She seriously just pickpocketed this girl. Oh my gosh. Mischief level seven though. You see, I don't know if it's something worth getting into a physical fight over. Madeline literally walked in on us while we were showering and asked to be girlfriends. And it's a little creepy how you just kind of broke into my apartment, but I think Dahlia's about the, the craziness a little bit. You know what though? I've decided. Yeah, I'm doing something a little weird, a little wacky. I'm starting a fight club. Yeah, kind of the theme of this episode is uh, using clubs to get me where I, I need to go. But all right, so we have fight, be mischievous, and work out. These are our club activities. And yeah, we like fitness. I mean, we gotta with all the fights that we're kind of starting with people. Haha, -ha, there we go. They're shocked. They're horrified. Caleb is abused. Haha, -ha, we beat him. What about you? You want some? Yeah, you gross old high school bullies. Oh, hey, is that Lilith? Yeah. Girl, it's been a minute uh, after that fight. Let's uh do a polite introduction. Oh, hey, mom. Oh, well, we got negative sentiments with uh, Lilith, our great, 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 great aunt or something. All right, there's four out of five. Aha, uh -huh. just the horrified looks from everyone in the room meme. Oh, our mom's disappointed. Well, let's let's tell our mom. We're going to tell her an unbelievable story. Like, mom, you wouldn't believe it. It's, it's not like I'm actually getting in fights. This is, this is my fight club. Well, he's still sticking around. So let's get in a final fight with, with Kate here. Try not to be too disappointed in us, mother. All right, so now we just have to witness the death of a sim, reach level eight in the criminal career, and have three declared enemies. Let's declare enemy, and we'll do the same with Emmanuel. Perfect. Yeah, that's what you sinister sims get. All right, so now it's just a grind for the career, and try to witness someone dying, I guess. Anyway, Fight Club, it was nice knowing you. Now I'm gonna head home and maybe bake some brownies. That sounds good. Hmm. I'm noticing a lot of these things that we can bake do require fresh ingredients. Maybe we gotta plan some kind of garden situation. But all right, just to see where we're at, we're level seven mischief, level six handiness, baking six charisma five. But let's see, since we did level up our aspiration quite a bit, we can now get morning sim, which we were still missing, and we could get entrepreneurial so that we can get promoted a lot faster. Heck yeah, level six charisma. And oh my gosh, our girlfriend snuck up on us again. Okay, we'll be best friends. I'm kind of thinking I want, yeah, I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of woodworking. And then I'm thinking we'll get some of these vertical planters. And ooh, we got some of our village stuff. Aha, <laughs> gotta put our bat out. Just have that casually on the table. Ooh, Finchwick Fair. There's a pie competition. You know what? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna enter that pie competition. Madeline, you're, you're being a little clingy right now, so I think I'm just gonna go alone. Hope that's okay. Heck yeah, did a little bit of haggling, just bought some discounted groceries, now we can make a fruit pie. Like, look at her, she's so in her element. Her villain name has got to be like, the Muffin Man. And she's someone to be feared. Let's take that and enter. Excellent quality fruit pie, let's do this. Oh my gosh, we do have work though. Uh, it's like the whole career versus passion. You can tell this is what she's passionate about, but she has her unique sense of justice as well. Quinted Bear- wait, hello? Like, I was about to prank this person, but I, th I think we're related. So Quinton Berry is the son of Vanessa, but Vanessa was the daughter of- of Holly. Oh my gosh, Holly is completely missing now. Like, I'm pretty sure all three of these sims were- were Holly's children, so I don't know why they've split her up into three different ghost sims at this point. Oh my gosh. They definitely got busy. Okay, I'm gonna have to check in on that at some point. So I guess our great-great-grandmothers were sisters. Isn't that an unbelievable story, man? Crazy, right? All right, we're going to work then. Goodbye, my beautiful fruit pie. We tried. Oh my gosh, a way out. Dahlia is taken aback when a police cruiser pulls up and a detective pops out. The detective claims to have incriminating evidence on Dahlia. Dahlia suspects the detective is bluffing and may not have any legal grounds to detain her. What will she do? Oh, we're definitely calling his bluff. Like, we may be new in this career, but we have a better sense of justice than this cop does. Oh! 
Pi won second place. Way to go, girl. And heck yeah, promotion. We're a minor crime lord. So we'll now make an additional 10 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 35 simoleons per hour. We have some cool new clothes and our next shift is Tuesday. Gross. Well, we've decided to celebrate by visiting home and eating our parents' food and ingredients. And level seven, awesome. Now we get to hang out with our sister because she's, she's really our actual best friend. And yeah, we like gardening, that's nice. Okay, so honestly, since we don't have work until Tuesday, I want to try to see how far we can get on Charisma, and then maybe a little bit of, of Mischief. Awesome. Heck yeah. Level 8. Level 7 handiness. Nice. All right, family, it was nice knowing you. Get out so that I can sleep in my own bed. I'm going to put up our little ribbon for our pie. I am also going to put up our single little postcard that we inherited. And we will eventually pass that on to our future child. Ah, uh, it's beginning. Good thing we have a really, really good handiness skill. Also, how do we have trash on our bed? I didn't even know that was possible to put it up there. Handy hero from successfully fixing apartment problems. Yes, who needs a landlord when fixing apartment problems comes so easy. You know, way to go, girl. Ooh, we got our first bills and our plants are all growing in just in time for us to bake something. But I feel like this is going to be a household where we're not really cooking. We're more so just baking because there's plenty of good just like filling things that you can that you can bake. Ew, bugs. Eradicate. Gross. I'm so confused how eating baked goods doesn't count as eating food. That sounds illegal. But all right, it's been a minute since we've worked on our satisfaction points. We want to make an enemy, so I think it's time we pull up our fight club again. We're going to grab Angry Vibe. We'll go ahead and gather at the gym. Aha, pickpocket. Talk about fight club. We don't, we don't talk about fight club. Mischief level eight. Nice. And Soren shows signs of the hero personality archetype. So it's very interesting. He's he's very similar to us in that way. There could only be one anti-hero around here. So we have some new negative sentiments, and I couldn't help but notice she does actually perceive him as attractive. So it's interesting how that works. Oh, perfect. They now despise each other, so we can now declare him our enemy. So dramatic. And she's been wanting to order a pizza for a while, so we'll we'll let her indulge. She had a busy day. Ah, uh, gross. The bugs are back. We're gonna complain this time. Looks all good here. Just don't call me again too soon. I mean, if shit isn't falling apart, then sure. Ah, uh, Indigo's giving us a call, asking if he should make a friend. Heck yeah, go for it. And if they're not a good friend, you can make them an enemy. Either way, you win. Oh no, there's a rat under our bed. Well, good thing she's sleeping. Let's try and win one of those decon challenges. I mean, we're feeling pretty wrecked, but sure. Maybe it's a good time for us to take one of our little moodlet solvers. It's It's been a while. I think, I think we've earned a, a little treat. There's that vampire again. He's just like a permanent vendor in the background of our lives. I'm gonna go ahead though and scope our surroundings, see if we find anyone at this geek con kind of cute. Wow, what a sip. Dahlia just stopped what they were thinking for a moment and found themselves staring at Myra Ito. Oh, that, that's our friend. So maybe we'll lay a little flirt on her. After all, pink could could be a sign. And throughout the conversation, we got the impression that she finds us unattractive. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting some deja vu here. Why does everyone who we find to be a super cutie find us unattractive? It's not fair. Heck yeah, charisma level eight. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Mom, you're old. I think, I think it's a little too late to be thinking about that. Well, we're gonna clog this drain and then I think maybe go out here and do a little scoping of our surroundings. Because there's there's way too much talk right now about, about babies. And I feel like it may be influencing us. Oh my gosh, this dog's coming in to order a drink. Oh my gosh, and another one? They're a star? Oh my gosh, there's so many dogs everywhere. I kind of love it. All right, we are off to work. Looks like we have some free time. We finished a task earlier than she expected. What should Dahlia do? You know what? We're going to research art. We, uh, we are lover of the arts and performance game small. Nice. Ah, beautiful. Love this for us. We have a choice of boss or oracle. Boss says streets or playground. You know there are only two paths up to the top or down to the fishes. You, you're going up. And this one pays 106 per hour. And then we have Oracle, which pays a lot less. Digi Thief, why be a part of the machine when you can take it down? There are plenty of ways to skin a cat or an enterprise and you'll figure it out. Rewards include ability to divert funds from your neighbor. You know what? Normally I'm all about going for more money, but this one honestly feels a little bit more in line with Dahlia, just due to like her interesting sense of justice, I guess. So we are now a digi thief. We make an additional 12 per hour for a grand total of 47 simoleons per hour. We also got a bonus and a spy satellite. And we work again in about 24 hours. We do have to get our programming skill up though. Ah uh, yeah, hacker mode activated. 
This lady literally just came into my house in order to like be scandalized by the rat living under my bed. You know what? He lives here too. And that's more than we can say about you. Forgot the mouse hole was right there. So we'll just, we'll just shuffle the bed a little bit. I wish there was like an additional option where we could just like catch the rat and make it our pet. Like that's, that's a much better solution in my opinion. We're enjoying our good little leftover pizza. Gonna take care of our plants and then go to our parents' house. Nothing quite like coming back to your childhood home. Oh my gosh, what would you guys do without me? I guess we'll uh, we'll activate our, our little skills club. Uh, we're daydreaming about our friend who doesn't think we're cute. Ate that for us. And congrats to our, to our distant cousin. And it looks like Indigo also had a good time with his new friend. But you know what? That's, that's giving me ideas. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, took a short little break to re-download the Simda dating app. And we're going to try to find someone who could make us feel like we're worth it, though no one related to us. I'm, I'm doing a, a two birds, one stone kind of thing, but we're going for romance. We are going for hopefully getting the next generation and maybe possibly taking care of the uh, witnessing of a Sim's death. But hello, you gorgeous, gorgeous old man. Amazing. We've learned he's a klepto and he is single. Oh my gosh. He seems like such a, a sweet little old man. Oh, that's adorable. Love that. This is going very well. I remember this location from when we were Ruby. Oh yeah. So romantic. Well, that was nice. Let's uh maybe head on over to, to my place. And there they go. Gonna do a little, a little cleanup around the place. All right. Nope. Go for round two. See how long his poor sim heart can take it. Oh, he's given us a gift? That's so sweet. Just not the gift that we want. Maybe third time's the charm. And yeah, man, we'll we'll be best friends. Oh gosh. Okay, well, I hope that did it. Girl, get out of the shower. You got a witness. Come on, come on, come on. Go here. Go here. Oh no, how tragic. But there we go. Okay, we've we've witnessed a death. But you know what? We've had a good time with this old man. So won't you give him a chance, old Grim? Oh hey, we did it. The sage has been brought back to life. Dahlia's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. Now let's see. See how it all uh all shook out. And we're eating for two. Or in this case, eating for three. Because we will for sure have to have to make sure that um we we are having twins since that's one of the rules of this generation. But you know, this this whole thing was a little spooky. Uh thanks, thanks, Grim. So we are going to ask to just kind of cool things off and uh you know, we have a really good, really good friendship, so we should we should be good on that front. But we do actually have work starting in about 25 minutes. Off to a great start. So when we get up, we will take a moodlet solver and then we will go to work. I'm sure this is pregnancy safe. Request for feedback. How should she give the notes? Oh, we're being straight and honest. We're we're not holding anyone else's feelings uh, higher than our own. But okay, performance game medium. Nice. No promotion. I guess we got to work on our virus making. Ooh, heard we and Madeline started dating. Thanks, mom. It's only a little awkward. But you know what? We have not heard from our supposed girlfriend in, in a hot minute. I feel like it's been almost a week. We're going to share the big news. She's a little confused which I, I don't necessarily blame her. We're, we're gonna ask her as well to just just be friends. So it's, it's probably probably for the best. And uh, I just realized how fitting that the uh, the father of our children, his, his name is Sage, how, how nice. Hey love, you adopted a dog, sure. Oh my gosh, the old house, wait, who are you? Yoink, we're just, ugh, babe. Now, where's this dog, Caleb? I want to see it. Show me the dog. There he is. Oh my gosh, his hair. Oh, hey, I think that's one of the dogs that I saw out when I went to GeekCon. I wonder if Caleb was there and that's where he, that's where he met him. Ah, oh, what a good dog. He's loyal. Well, that was fun. Time to head on home. And we're going to finish up on our daily requirements so that we can hopefully get our next promotion. <sighs> oh my gosh, we don't have work for another three days. Oh, I've messed up. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. That just means we're going to have plenty of time to work on our, our hacking skills. Level nine. Nice. Oh my gosh, mom. I know y'all are just constantly shocked at the state in which I live my life, but this is it. This is me. Level eight. Nice. Level nine charisma. Amazing. All right, family. Thanks for visiting. Sorry you have to see the state in which I live. Really going to make me change all my super cute decor, huh? Let's, let's try that. All right, that seems to work. Doing a quick little check. We are currently level nine baking, almost level 10. Charisma, we just started mischief. We're halfway to level nine. Let's see how uh, how far we can get on, on mischief because then our focus is going to be on programming. Aw, dad's here. You know, I was going to wait and see if anyone was going to invite me out, but apparently no one thought to invite the pregnant girl out to uh, to the spice festival with, with free food for night on the town. We'll take our dad out. Ooh, look at all this. Free food. Harvest all. 
in level four gardening. Nice. Let's attempt a spicy challenge. So far, so good. What a perfect night. Just night on the town. Spice festival. The stars are aligned. Ah, dude. Freaking throw up on me. I'm gonna throw a drink on you. No wonder we were wanting to... Well, actually, we want to become friends, even though we're enemies. Hmm. Maybe this is the moment where we're trying to, to right all of our past wrongs. Okay, game. I'll, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. We'll, we'll try to become friends. Like, I can't remember the exact reason we originally became enemies, but we'll say water under the bridge, you know? Oh, we got a sentiment with our sister. That's nice. We we haven't been able to spend enough time with, with Bailey lately. Night on the town was successful. It was awesome. We had a wonderful time and got to do everything we wanted to do. Okay, we have work in about 23 hours. Honestly, I feel like we just have a few more good days in us, especially with the baby coming in a uh, question mark time frame. Okay. Me thinks we gotta hustle a bit. All right, it may be a little bit of a social faux pas, but I'm pretty sure I need the the family here to get to get the better boosts. So come on over, bright and early family. Maybe we'll say they're uh, helping me get ready for the for the baby or something. I don't know. Heck yeah, a piece of cake. I knew that's what I needed. So Dahlia can now bake lava bundt cake and cow plant essence meringue pie. You can also bake eclairs and alien fruit tarts at the cupcake factory. Ah, uh, dang, that's what we need. Cupcake factory, heck yeah. See, these these club buffs are honestly awesome. Heck yeah, charisma skill maxed out. Officially, we have completed the first requirement for this challenge, and that is to master the baking and the charisma skill. Gosh, took long enough. Heck yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna upgrade the bed too, because one, that'll help us with our handiness, which I don't know if we need to get at this point. I think it may have been part of the other branch of the villain career, but you know what? Having maxed out handiness can't hurt, but we're gonna upgrade the bed so that we get better quality sleep, and then we can sleep for less time. All right, level nine handiness. And yes, family, I know that's just my roommate. Don't mind the rat. You know what? Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Don't want you guys to be freaked out seeing my little roommate here. So you're you're welcome to head on out. Ooh, this one is rough because the next gen has to live kind of paycheck to paycheck. But you know what? I have a plan. So we're going to ask under what conditions. Perfect. So that was an easy, easy money grab. Oh, there it is. Well, we're in labor, but we're going to take a moment. We got to troll the forums just for a hot second. Oh my gosh, work starts in an hour. Never mind, never mind. We're having the baby at the hospital. We're going to go alone because we got to streamline this. We're going to have the baby and we're going to go to work immediately because that's the kind of lady that Dahlia is. Like, I know this hospital was always dead, but I mean, this is this is just a joke at this point. All right, girl, it's time. Okay, okay. I was, I was curious which one it was going to be. I did have to confirm that it was twins and I put a boy and girl in there and I didn't know which one was going to come first. So we're going to name her Coraline. One, because it has coral in there, which is like a pink. And also she's destined to be a writer when she grows up. So I think Coraline is perfect for that. So our second is a boy. So we're going to name him Cypress because Cypress flowers can be either like a pink or like a red color. So I think that's nice. But yay, we had the twins and there's our little vampire symbol. But okay, that was great. Now we are headed off to work for the night. All right, bragging, not boasting about cybercrime is just so hard. But Dahlia brags about a hack on social media and now the authorities may be on to her. We're not showing any weakness. We're just gonna pretend it was a lie. Like, oh, you believe me? And Dahlia spends the next few hours posting cat memes, attributing famous quotes to the wrong people and denying responsibility. In the end, no one believes she could have accomplished much of anything. I mean, ain't that the story of our life? No one can truly believe how, how evil we actually are. So we finally got promoted and then we work again in 17 hours. Just have to reach level two programming. So we're gonna add programming boost to our club. We're also gonna have our family cook a little bit for us. Pristine reputation, okay. Hey, I, I really do not know how, but she must be hacking her reputation somehow. Really? Really, mother? You see the crying infant right there? Just just directly to your left? No, no response at all? All right. I just want to be able to hack the mainframe. Is that too much to ask? Let me see. Okay, let's take this off. We'll get fast internet. Cool. That should hopefully help a little bit. Oh yeah, I see it. Girl, you are so close. Heck yes. All right, family, you're doing absolutely nothing. You can go home and do absolutely nothing now. And I'm gonna sleep. Babies are asleep, so I am asleep. Oh, and that really brought us all the way up to work again. Okay. Freaking yikes, man. A deadline looms. Dolly has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? We're going to very assertively ask for help and performance gains small we're not gonna hide in a closet that's not like us beautiful 
All right, hit level eight and, oh my gosh, Bailey, way to upstage me. But we've completed the public enemy aspiration. So now literally all we have to do is complete our career and live to the kind of end of our young adulthood so that we can get out of this needs TLC apartment. All right, where is this child? You know what? This is cute though, because... That means that uh, Coraline and Cyprus have a little baby cousin who's the same age as them. Ain't that cute? Maurice is very hungry. Oh my gosh. Also, how cute is it that uh, Bailey named their adopted baby similarly to Daphne's adopted dad? But girl, you've had a rough few days, so let's have you take a little moodlet solver. Wait, Leroy Iona Berry, is this the adopted child? Who's the adopted child? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Maurice, I think, is Bailey's biological child. And then I think Leroy here is the adopted child. I didn't even know she was pregnant before. What the heck? I went ahead and just extended Bailey's room. Maybe between episodes, I'll like move her out into her own place. Cause like this, this is a tiny space to live in. But I also gave Rory his, uh, his hair back because it was just so fitting for him. But with all of our skill buffs, like we'll be able to level up two times, hopefully before it gets too late. And then we could head home to the babies. Ah, uh, humor and hijinks festival. And level six. Awesome. So we're all ready for work in eight hours. I'm also just gonna go ahead and age up this baby. And you know what? Yeah, humor and hijinks. Definitely not avoiding the babies back at home. Why, why would you think that? Ah, uh, there she is again. I swear, all these vampires keeping tabs on us. So join in the pranksters this time. It may not be orange colored, but it will help with our mischief skill. Oh, it's our birthday. Oh, crap. Oh, crud. Oh, but we maxed our skill. Ain't that nice. Oh, heck yeah. Tomorrow's spooky day. You know what? In that case, we're gonna have a spooky party and I'll just age up at some point. Really? We get to level 10 and only at this point we admit we like with mischief. Okay. The pranksters and jokesters have tied. What? I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I guess we're just not on our A game today, but cool. We saw the fireworks and I guess now it's time to head home, see our kids for like half an hour and then go to work. Ooh, yep. Yeah. We've been away for too long. Gross, gross. Guess it's time to feed, change, and then spray toxic fumes right in front of our kids, so. Oh, and they aged up right as they were sent to daycare. You could like see them there in the background. Oh, parenting of the year. All right, Coralide is first. I'm gonna make her silly. And then Cypress, I'm gonna make him a charmer. But I'm pretty sure I just broke the game a little bit because um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be at daycare and they're not. Hopefully nothing terrible happens to the toddlers while we're out. But okay, government secrets. Dahlia has been contacted by a member of the government agency with secret docs that could incite a riot if they got out. Does Dahlia help release them anonymously or is it better not to have a riot on her hands? I mean, I feel like we're gonna release the documents just because again, she has this hero complex, like just that vigilante thing. Even if it's probably gonna get us in a little bit of a, a mess. Yeah, performance lost small. But okay, we're back home now, please. uh. Come, come take care of your children. Oh my gosh, what a, what a mess. We're gonna take a little moodlet solver. And I gotta say, I, I love our choice of costume. Out of all the choices out there, we chose a pizza delivery person because they are our heroes or something. I don't know. Stop, this is inappropriate. What? Bailey, are you, are you really telling this toddler that they cannot sleep here? Like, are you kidding me right now? We'll just blow out our candles and, and we'll age up to an adult. Yay. Well, let's maybe just have the toddlers introduce themselves to each other you know what maybe we just have to dress dress for the job we want and that is super villain that's a pretty great costume though i gotta admit all right spooky party complete and uh, i guess it's time i i do the responsible thing and i take my toddlers home okay slightly delayed but here's our little makeover of Coraline. i had noticed when both her and cyprus aged up she actually had shorter hair and he had kind of a more i guess feminine hairstyle so i'm kind of i'm kind of working with that i feel like Coraline is going to be a bit of a tomboy but i'm keeping her as more of like the dusty like rosy pink and a little bit of like the grays and then cyprus we have with a bit more of like a rosy pinky pink technically the hair color is the game's like purple but i always saw that is more of a pinkish color but i don't know i feel like depending on how things go as they get a little bit older we we may go with like they them pronouns or something like that with cypress i'm not really sure again we'll have to kind of see where their personalities take us but oh my gosh these poor poor toddlers we do not have work for another two days and honestly that's kind of the last thing that we need to do in order to complete this kind of leg of the the challenge so while we're waiting to to kind of finish that up i think we're just gonna try to take care of these infants a little bit i've also removed convivial added 
at child's play here and that should hopefully help our our little toddlers a little bit oh man we have a leaky pipe here we have our little pet rat running around over here now that we're an adult and we have two toddlers taking up this like studio apartment i think we're we're feeling a little bit cramped to be honest but i'm gonna bring the berry brigade and we're gonna do just a little bit of socializing get some of our club points up so that we can keep expanding on this but this is going to be the way that we continue to just interact with the family moving forward and as we're moving on to the next generation in the not so berry challenge we're, we're eventually going to be passing that club along to, to the next heir but we got to clean up these toddlers we don't really have a bath so in the sink it is but there you go little baby eat your carrot i'm so sorry honestly i think that dahlia really is just trying her best someone sent the kids some toys so that's awesome but oh no there's little cockroaches in our baby's rooms as they sleep we're complaining to the landlord like we can't live under these conditions Fire! It, it is too little too late all this after she basically kind of gives us a strong impression that she thinks we're unattractive does that mean you don't want to hang out with me yeah yeah you can't just play with people's emotions and then when they have kids with the same hair color as you start to tell them that you like them we don't play that way all right potty level two starting up our skill club just to get a little bit of programming in before we have to go to work level two imagination nice Honestly, I wish childcare was an activity you could do at a club. That would make things so much easier. Awesome. Uplink established. The hack was successful. We hacked the mainframe. Just casually chatting it up with our toddler as we're hacking major corporations. It's all for your future, baby. Because we have different priorities now, you know? We need to make sure we're we're able to, to take care of and, and look after our little babies. Level 7 programming. Awesome. Yeah, we like programming. Oh my gosh, it's almost their birthdays. We have a very serious day of work here. I'm just going to hide a nanny so that we could try to get some of the toddler skills up and make sure we are working hard but look at that nanny ando's here Ooh, techno squabble so they started an argument they insulted her now dahlia is wanting to hack her fellow hackers if we do that we're gonna be fired and we will lose so we're going to ignore the insult and just carry on we're gonna we're gonna play the long game because we have sad little kiddos to look after oh my gosh we got promoted to net demon got the workaholic lifestyle we got a nice bonus and unfortunately do not work again until sunday but we're on level nine so we are almost there but honestly we are gonna move so we're just gathering up some of our sentimental items we've we've made some enemies at work and uh we have a new family to look after so we're gonna just move along and try to provide a better life for for our new little family oh it's gonna be tight but we're gonna we're gonna do it got the cutest little orange autumn themed house out in the country what a perfect little place to raise your little kids try to sell some of our little produce here i think we gotta sell some of our old like fireworks and you know what maybe maybe not the upgrade parts we may we may want to do something with those but ooh, is this a sad little house so far got the little babies eating some bread we're celebrating with the grand breakfast but who'd have thought we'd ever be this domestic all the little babies to the meal and rory yeah go for your little crush love that for him and this is so nice going for a casual little jog around the area i think this will be really good for dahlia and the twins all right and we are back to continuing to hack the mainframe we gotta provide for our kids we have mastered imagination. Beautiful. I think it's very fitting that that is the first skill that, that we master as Coraline. The garden is coming together, though. That's good. And yay, good for you, Rory. We got the welcome wagon here. Let's go ahead and sell all of our produce this time. But after that, let's let's invite those neighbors in and just, just get to know the locals. Maybe we could pickpocket you. I don't know. Just feel, it, feel a little crazy. And then let's find out, are we one of the rare Sims that actually likes fruitcake? All right, well, let's start this birthday party. And there it is. Fruity delicacy. Was there really any fruit in that cake? Doesn't matter, it was delicious. If anyone was gonna like fruit cake, it was gonna be Dahlia. All right, time for the main event. Happy birthday, little Coraline. Didn't fully max out the skills, but we did pretty good. We are definitely going creativity for Coraline. So we're going double creative, and then we'll pick up neat and unflirty later on. And happy birthday, little Cypress. But he has a higher motor and social. So we'll go motor for him. And then I'm thinking maybe outgoing. Cuties. And now we will go ahead and get them both added to skills for days. And we will also get these extra childhood skill boosts since we saved up quite a bit over the last few gatherings. We'll also think ahead and get writing and wellness. This club is super stacked. And then no hard feelings, parental units, and sister. But this will allow us to just focus on the household now. All right, here's our pink little baby Coraline. And then we have Cypress here, also very adorable. And then Dahlia, I've switched up like a couple of her outfits just to be a little bit more cozy and also gave her some little eye bags because mood. But here we go. We're, we're starting our little 
club gathering technically that way the kids could start working on their skills a bit gonna quickly just get rid of the toddler stuff and our little gnomes here Ooh, this is tight we'll get a little activity table and then we gotta get some journals that's always good to help with the character values Heck yes, level eight and $200 and asking for advice. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said that eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? You know what? Dahlia is not really focused on health based things, but you know, kids may tease you. You know what? It's about time we've placed the little postcard that we inherited from, from our mother. We're going to gift that just to our, our daughter Coraline, just as a, a little birthday gift. We don't really have a whole lot going on over here, but that technically puts us on the road to our postcard collection. And it's going to start us on our path of just trying to, to see the world a little bit. Maybe try to find a pen pal or two. Our enemy passed away. Well, we outlived them. Yep, the death of a loved one can be traumatic, but the death of an enemy brings nothing but happiness. Sims can laugh at a tombstone to feel to feel at peace. Nice. Well, you know what? Good, good for you, Dahlia. We'll go ahead and end this little skills gathering, and I honestly think that it's time for a change of heart with Fight Club. Change it to Fight Club to it'll be all right, Club. Because you know, it's it's time that we start making amends here. We gotta set set a good example for our kids. And heck yeah, gardening, paying our bills. Also decided we're going to be planting some pumpkins back here because it's it's fitting, you know? Ah, uh, do you wish you looked as happy as I do? You know what? We're trying to turn a new leaf. Let's let's say yeah. Look at that. We donated. We're feeling so good about ourselves. Oh, girl, I leave you alone for like one minute. What are you doing? Be nice to these guys. And yeah, man, go go make a friend. Oh my gosh, we have another pie competition. We can win ribbons. <gasps> All right, it's go time, kids. We are entering that competition. I got to reignite my love for baking. Not that it ever really left, but this is what we're turning over that new leaf for. But you know what? It'll be alright club we we made some good progress so we'll we'll try again another time oh heck yeah milestone complete oh this little girl is doing so good let's head off to the fair kiddos i know we don't really have time for this but we don't work until the evening so it's fine we enjoy a, a last hurrah there we go submit that and then i went ahead and added a little pirate ship here for the kids it's just a cute simple life you know oh it's so nice we live in a space where we can we could actually grow trees now just i love that for us Heck yeah, milestone complete. Uh, another another family member passed away. That's um that was our our aunt. Yeah, Kelsey Kelsey Berry. So oh we have like three cousins. Oh my goodness, I am looking at our little family tree. It looks like at some point Rowan got busy. And oh my gosh, Iris had a baby. We're gonna have to beat them at some point. All of them. Okay, this this will be this will be for next time. Because again, for Coraline, she's gonna want like pen pals in every world. And maybe we could say like it's it's her distant family relatives. She's getting to know them. We got first place at the fair. Nice. Look at her two little ribbons. So proud of her. All right, awesome. So we got to the next level of artistic prodigy. We're just blasting through this. All right, girl, time to dominate. Dominate the Matrix. Fractions and decimals. Dahlia writes a script to siphon money from a major IT company into her account. Fractions of a cent at a time. Seconds post-launch, she sees a misplaced decimal point. The script is now stealing full simoleons. Quick, attempt a hotfix or shut it down. We did get this far being cautious. We're gonna, we're gonna do a hotfix. Performance gain small, awesome. And we got a thousand simoleons. We gotta do the best for our kids. Oh, heck yes. Suave criminal. Yeah, you hardly recognize the place now. But oh my gosh, we were promoted to the Oracle. We now make an additional 90 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 347. We got a bonus. We got a portable computer. We got new clothes. And our next shift is tomorrow. Beautiful. All right, so we may be super tired, but that is it. We're celebrating by making a fancy little bunt cake. But with that, we have completed the orange generation. So we mastered the baking and the charisma skills. We completed the criminal aspiration, got to level 10, the oracle. And we completed the public enemy aspiration. We lived in a needs TLC apartment for our entire young adulthood. And then of course we had just our two little twins and we insisted our whole life on being evil despite nobody really believing us because we we always had that just unique sense of, of justice to us. And I mean, can you blame them for not believing that she's evil? Look at how adorable she is decorating her little bunk cake. So next time we'll be getting into Coraline's generation and it's all kind of 
and coming together from here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, already almost level nine. Honestly, I will say that the, the club pack is, is the best thing I've come across in this challenge so far. It's really helping with our skills. But if you enjoy this episode, please let me know in the comment section. If you're excited to see where things kind of go from here, be sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for future episodes. Looks like Festival of Youth coming up. I think we'll be doing that next time. But with that, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will like video games and we will see you next time. Bye.